In this video, you'll learn how to pre-label your images by pre-tagging their room and structure titles, and how to keep your photos organized during the field inspection. The Photo ID app allows you to capture your inspection photos and be pre-labeled with their designated structure and room titles. This method of capturing your photos not only labels your images with their correct room and structure titles, but also allows you to return back to that specific category folder to add more photos if needed. This feature is especially helpful during an inspection, when a property owner or a contractor directs you to take photos in another room prior to you capturing all the damage in the prior room you were inspecting. When you enter the camera for each new assignment, it'll always be set to its default structure setting, which is dwelling, exterior, front elevation, which is normally the very first image captured at every residential inspection. In the event that the first image you're capturing is a different type of structure or category, simply tap the Tag Structure icon, which is at the bottom right corner of the camera screen, and select or create the desired structure or room of your choice. The app's default category list and their order include the dwelling structure's exterior elevations in a clockward inspection order and the roof. The dwelling's interior folder is displayed after the exterior subfolders, which allows users to add rooms as they see fit during the inspection process. Tapping the tag icon will open a pre-populated tree view list of the dwelling structure's exterior elevations, roof, and the interior category. No interior rooms have been added on the default tag tree list due to every inspection performed is unique in its own nature. Therefore, we'll require you to create rooms on the fly, which will also keep all your inspection images in the order you want them to display on the photo report. To add a new room category such as a bedroom or living room, tap on the three purple dots located to the right of the interior tab and select the option to Add Room, which will populate beneath the interior category. To add a new structure category such as a detached garage, fence, pool enclosure, etc., simply tap the Add Structure icon at the upper right of the screen. The Add Structure icon can also be accessed at the top right corner of the Assignment Details screen. After selecting the new structure category of your choice, a box will appear and ask you if you would like that newly created structure to have sublevels or not, i.e. front elevation, left elevation, roof, etc. After tapping the Add Structure, you'll be able to select from a list of structure names or create your own custom structure by selecting the tab and entering the custom structure's title. Once you're done either adding a new room or structure category, the app will automatically return to the tag screen with the new room or structure category selected and the shutter icon highlighted in purple. The purple highlighted shutter indicates the newly created category is selected, and the app is ready to start capturing those pre-titled category images once the purple shutter icon is tapped. Within the tag screen, you can also change the order of your room and structure categories by simply long pressing the gray dots to the left of each category tab, and by dragging the room category either up or down, or by dragging the selected structure category left or right. The three vertical purple dots on the right of each category also allow you to rename the category, remove the category, or reassign a room category to a different structure. Please note that after selecting the new room or structure category, it is always necessary to hit the purple shutter icon in order to start taking images within that category's folder. Tapping the back button on the tag screen will also take you to the camera. However, the camera will readjust back to the previous category selected before entering the new tag screen category selection. Photo ID makes it easy to identify where each image is being stored and pre-labeled while on the camera screen by simply looking at the structure and room category indicator at the top of the camera screen. When you're taking photos, the saved location of each image is displayed in the transparent indicator bar. Tapping on the menu bar takes you to the assignment page and displays each of the structure categories where your images are stored. When you're finished with an assignment, you can review and modify all the inspection photos from either within the app's photo gallery or on the photo report preview screen before emailing it to yourself or any other interested party. 
You can review and modify your images from either app's photo gallery screens or on the Photo Reports preview screen. To enter the app's photo gallery, either tap on the gallery icon at the bottom of the camera screen, or if you are on the Assignment Details screen, simply tap on one of the structure folders that was created during your inspection. To review and modify your images on the Report Preview screen, simply tap on the Report icon that's located on the Assignment screen or on the Assignment Details screen. In either case, you'll be able to tap on any of the images to either edit the captions you recorded, add custom annotations to the images, and or share individual images to other interested parties. When finished adding custom annotations, be sure to tap the check mark at the top right corner on the screen in order to save the annotations on the image and to return back to preview the edited image. When finished editing any image, simply tap the X to close the window to return back to the previous screen. Keep your photos organized by pre-tagging your images using the Photo ID app. Our other videos in this series will demonstrate how to get the most out of the Photo ID app, including operating the app's camera, how to create and manage assignments, and how to edit your inspection images. If you would like any further clarification on any of the items demonstrated in this or any other series, or if you just have general questions about our platform, please email us at info at uscope.net. Thank you for visiting. Uscope, assisting you every inch of the way.